Writing formulas for ionic compounds that contain a multivalent metal. Multivalent metals have more than one ion form. Manganese is multivalent because it has three different ion forms, 2+, plus, 3+, plus, and 4+. Plus. The Roman numerals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 correspond to ion charges 1+, plus to 7+. Plus. Include them in the name to distinguish which ion charge is used. Manganese 3 sulfide means that the manganese ion with the 3 plus charge combines with sulfur. The formula for this compound is MN2P3. Think back to the previous video to figure out how this was determined. Example lead 4 sulfide. First thing we have to do to figure out the formula for this one is identify the symbols. Lead is Pb4, but if you look on the periodic table, it's also Pb2+. The way we know we're supposed to use this one is from the name. Roman numeral 4 tells us to use ion charge 4. Sulfide, which is actually S2-, minus, is the only ion charge for sulfur. Next thing we want to do after we identify the symbols is balance the charges. So we're looking for a common multiple of 4 and 2, which is 8. It takes two lead ions to get a charge of plus 8, and it takes four sulfide ions to get a charge of 8. That gives us a net charge of 0. So let's note the ratio. For every two lead ions, there are four sulfide ions. So we use this ratio then to write the formula Pb2S4. But this isn't in lowest terms. And with ionic formulas, we put them into lowest terms. We have to reduce them. So if we divide 2 by 2, and we divide 4 by 2, we end up with Pb1S2. But by convention, we don't write this one. And so the final formula, or the formula for lead 4 sulfide, is PbS2. How about lead 2 sulfide? Lead 2 sulfide uses the other ion charge of lead. So if you think back again to the periodic table, there are two different ion charges for lead. In the previous example, the Pb4 plus ion was used. In this example, it's Pb2 plus, and we know that because of the Roman numeral. So here it is. Here's the sulfide ion, and you notice that they both have the same ion charge. The lowest common multiple for these two is 2. So we just need one of each. This is actually supposed to be a 2, and this should actually be a 2 as well. Plus 2 and minus 2 cancel each other out, and we get an ion charge of 0, or a net ion charge of 0. Note the ratio, 1 lead ion to 1 sulfide ion, it's a 1 to 1 ratio, so the formula is Pb1S1, or simply PbS. We actually don't use the ones by convention. Try the practice problems on page 190. Naming compounds with multivalent metals. What is the name for SnCl2? If we look at tin on the periodic table, we see that it does have two different ion charges. We know that tin is either Sn4 plus or Sn2 plus. And we know that chlorine, or the chloride ion, is Cl minus 1. So we know that one tin and two chloride ions will give us tin 2 chloride. These are the ions that were used. And if we use the crisscross method, we see that the subscripts are SN1Cl2, or more conventionally, SNCl2. 
is the formula we started with. Try to practice problems on page 191. 